uh, what's really interesting to him is the fact that I got nine minutes to be so I'm going to be late. What's probably um, the, what was bothering him probably was the fact that he came out here and um, things just worked out probably better than what he what he imagined it would be. And then you know all of a sudden I'm I'm, I'm a black guy you know and I first went to their store and. You know, they have all the other um, employees there that's Indians and stuff, too, you know. And they, um, you know, they're real nice, you know, and I talk to them and stuff, you know. And um, uh, and I just keep going there. And, you know, of course, you know, I'm sure he got his pre his notions about black people. You know, so I always roll up in my Lexus and stuff, you know, and go in there and eat. And me and my family go there and we eat, you know, and I say hi to him and, you know, um, his I think his son is there. And his son got his family. He got his family. You know, and I say hi to him. And they come in. You know, and I'm not being rude. I'm not being ignorant. You know, and stuff like that. And I'm not like those, uh, like those. Uh, what is it called? Like those uh, stereotypes and stuff that they uh, have on TV. I'm not like that. So uh, maybe he. Uh, it kind of was a little surprise and stuff, so he'll start talking to me, and, you know, one day he gave me some food that they eat in, in India that they really eat, you know, and not what they serve, because he said Indian people like to eat chicken with their bones in it, <laughs> and I was like, huh? That sounds black to me, <laughs> you know? And, you know, like, uh, when I was in Cleveland, you know, I was like, why do you guys eat filet fish, you know? Because when I was growing up in L.A., you know, on the white side, you know, they fillet everything, you know. But my uncle said, boy, you know black people like their bones. They like picking bones out the fish. And I'm like, huh? Huh? I don't know nothing, you know, because, you know, I've been away from that stuff for so long. I just totally forgot everything, you know. Soul food, all that stuff. And I just, you know, it was just, I just forgot all about that stuff, you know. And, um, and so he gave me some food and, We'll talk, you know, and uh, he's out there expanding and doing the other businesses. Whatever he's doing, you know, he's doing his thing. And one day he just sat down and I was in there eating. He just come over because sometimes if his store's not busy or I go in there at a time when it's right after it's busy and stuff, uh, he uh, just sit down and he start telling me stuff. And the last time he, I talked to him, he was just like kind of like spilling his whole life story out to me. Like, you know, he's still in the days, you know. Um, and tell me about this country and stuff. So basically, you know, I run off at the mouth. But anyway, basically, I'm all I'm saying is that uh, I, I'm not saying that I don't have any notions and stuff like that because I do when I go into these stores. Like the other day, I went to um, stop at Lawson's and there was these um, kids out there, and you know, they got their uh, um, nice cars and stuff. They're uh, athletes and crown athletes and their Arista, which is the Toyota version of Alexis and all of that stuff, you know, and I roll up, jump out, you know, and they're looking at me, you know, and I'm thinking like, oh man, I wonder if these guys hate me or this and that, you know, and I do that sometimes, and I'm just not saying I don't, and so I went in the store, and I came, oh, please don't go, and I came out of the store, and um, one guy was in a red, you know, and he was leaning up against the wall, and he looked at me, and he did like one of these little bow things, you know, and I just did a head up thing, you know, and jumped into my car and rolled out. When I was rolling out, another dude in a nice car drove up, and he, you know, there's some young kids, you know. So I can, uh, you know, act stupid and stuff and start thinking about what would these kids think about me. But, you know, like I said, you know, most of these kids out here, you know, they love black people, they like black people and stuff, you know. And the only reason they probably won't, they probably, the only problem you're going to have with them. It's because you're screwing their girls and they ain't getting no girls, you know. And but you know that's that's anywhere, you know. And even in the black neighborhood, a guy got a lot of girls and one guy don't, you know. He hating, you know. So basically, like I said, you know, uh, it's just the attitude. Let people, um, let people uh, tell you how they feel about you instead of you thinking, uh, conjuring up, you know, thoughts that. You know, you think they might have, because I tell you, if you stop doing that, you, it was so much stress would come off of you. You'd be so surprised. I mean, I just want. That's why, you know, when I went to LA. Another thing, I went to LA, and uh, being in Japan, you know, uh, 
for a long time. What it does is it just um, it just you know make me stop thinking about unnecessary stuff. I walk down the street and I ain't got to worry about the police. So bam, that's gone. You know, I ain't worried about no drive by so that's gone. I ain't worried about uh, fighting with no Mexican or no SA or, or, you know, or this, you know. You know, I ain't got to worry about no brothers doing this. The only thing I got to worry about is pretty much getting hit by a bike, you know, because um, people do hit you on bikes and stuff. Or uh, making sure I'm alert so when a girl is throwing the vibes and I want to, um, and she want to talk to me, I have to be alert for that. Or, you know, when these guys are out here, you know, and they throw in the vibes where they might want to talk to you and stuff, you know, you got to you gotta look out for those things, you know, because some of these, like I said in my other videos, some of these guys out here, you know, they, they got a lot of money and, um, you know, but, you know, they're so busy that sometimes they don't have friends and a lot of people do like, they listen to our music, you know, so they want to know more about us and you talk to them and you'd be surprised, man, the information they give you, I mean, like, that one 26 year old kid we was talking to it's on one of my videos I think and um maybe it's on one of my videos I think and he was just telling me how he owned 10 companies he rich and got all these nice cars and he's only 26 years old you know and uh, I was thinking like wow 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 but then I thought about another one I was, wow I can do the same thing too I can learn a language and I can um, study up Japanese and I can open up an architectural company you can do those same things if you know the language out here and you got a visa to live out here and work out here you can do the same exact things you just got to learn the language and it'll just be like in the united it'll be what the united states is supposed to be a free peaceful country you know and um the more like if you know about nuclear or whatever or whatever you know you learn that stuff and you can open up your own business and i mean it's all kinds of stuff you can do you never know so basically, all I'm saying is just the attitudes and stuff, you know. Uh, when the guys say, you know, black women have attitudes, maybe the attitudes that they're talking about is not the attitudes that who you are, but the attitudes of your preconceived notions of what you think people think you are, or stuff like that. So anyway, I'm out. Peace.